get it for the gusto. Young hot head, man, cut throw. Riding that nass on don't go. Kick back and serve off them O's. O's, O's. What's up, you guys? It's your boy Kenny Key, and we back with another video. And today's video, I'm gonna give you guys some insight about Champ Sports. So one thing you guys didn't know about me, I worked at Champ Sports for like three years. And truthfully, it was a a crazy experience. Like, n needless to say, it was it was fun, but it was kind of crazy and like all the stuff that was going on. Like, it it was a lot. So, topic number one, the pay. So, you guys, the pay at Champs. Truly, if you're looking to get paid like that, you ain't gonna get paid that much at all. Truly, from the time I was working there, I I was getting paid eight dollars an hour. Not much. Then commit, and I'm, I'm gonna go to the next side with the commission. But like, I got paid eight dollars an hour. I want to say I worked a few hours. I worked, I kind of worked a lot of hours because you know, I was fresh out of college, you know, and everything. So I was trying to find me a good, stable job. So you know, worked the champs. And I think the most I ever got paid was like 364. That was working two weeks, and you get paid bi weekly, you don't get paid weekly there. So Working the channels, doing all the hours and everything, it was uh, it was pretty, it was fun. But then you like, dang, I ain't getting paid this much. But you got all the shoes and stuff like that. So it's like the pay. It's like you gotta you gotta work hard just to get that amount. But then once you you know eight dollars, you get paid three sixty four. Then a pair of J's and everything, that's like your whole check pretty much gone. Not including you know got a phone bill or something like that. Then it's like dog, it's it. It's really not worth it. I mean, it's worth it if you really, really love. Like, I mean, I was passionate about shoes, so I loved it. But the pay, the pay is not what you think it is. Topic number two, commission. Dog, okay, listen. The commission, I'm telling the truth. I believe it is like 0.01%. You will never get paid commission. I mean, never. I made a sale for like $764. I was one of the tip sales rep. At Champ Sports, most definitely, I was selling them shoes like hotcakes. But, dog, I'm letting y'all know that commission, you will never get paid commission. No matter how many sales you get, no matter how much you do, you won't get paid commission. Because you got, it's basically kind of set up like, how can I explain this a little bit easier for you guys to understand? So, with commission, you have to outsell what you work hourly. And you working hourly, you're never out sell your hourly pay you get what i'm saying let's say you work 80 hours then the commission you you probably you probably make you probably sold like a couple thousand that commission is 0.01 percent i believe is 0.01 percent you won't get paid that commission i never seen a commission on my paycheck in a, over the three years i never i mean i never seen commission so when they say oh you paid our commission it's it's kind of like it's kind of like a semi scam, but it's really not a semi scam because you know you kind of make sales to keep your job, kind of sort of. You know, if you're not making sales, then what you there for? Basically, that's kind of what they they mind frame it like. What you doing here? You just trying to eat up this clock, and get some fresh shoes and stuff like that. It's like eh. It's like dang, I kind of am, but I'm trying to keep a job so I can you know get the shoes and stuff like that. But then that commission, you ain't gonna ever get paid that. So it's like okay, the commission is booty cheeks. It started after it's complete booty cheeks. Like, bruh, do the butter. Don't even try to get commission, bro. I mean, you make your sales, but commission is not there. The discount. So, okay, I'm trying to remember because, you know, it's been a while for me. With the discount, you got to a black card. And it's going to say your name and stuff on there. And it's going to say Foot Locker. It ain't going to say Chance because, you know, Foot Locker is like kind of the top of it and everything. It's like branches of it. So, like, yeah, you got Foot Lock, you got Champs, you got Foot Action, and some other spots. Let me know down in the comment if I forgot some spots. But, yeah, like, so the discount, you get crazy discounts for sure. Let's say they got 50%. Then you swipe your discount. I believe the discount is 30% off. And you got 50% on top of 30%. You got 80% off. And that's a, that's a heck of a deal. Like, dude, you pay 80% off on, like, some clothes or something? Like, you can rack up all day. So the discount is worth it. Like it also the discount you can only use it on select Jordan releases. I mean what I mean is I got some receipts, bro. Like for for example, I don't know if you guys can see it or not. Nah nah nah, you ain't gonna be able to see that, but 
I, I keep all my receipts too, by the way. So I had the Air Jordan 9 OG white and blacks. That's the one with the Space Jams. Excuse me, guys. That's the one with the Space Jams and everything. They kind of releasing everything with that. I basically, the shoe retail for $190. My discount knocked out of 50 it knocked off fifty-seven dollars, so I end up paying with tax, with tax and everything. That's ten, I believe it's ten percent or nine percent here in Arkansas, but with tax and everything, one thirty-three plus eleven dollars and ninety-seven cent. I end up paying one hundred and forty-four dollars and ninety-seven cent. That's a deal, from two hundred seven with tax to one forty-four ninety-seven with tax. Boom! That discount is worth it. Like that that black card. It's worth it, like for sure, for sure. But you go towards the Air Jordan 11 releases, you can't use it. You know, I got on my my receipt right here. You you can't use it at all. Like it's like I try getting on. Uh, I don't believe it's the UNC 11s. Yeah, I couldn't use my discount. I had to pay 220. I had to pay flat out 220. I was butt hurt. I was like, oh no, why? But yeah, I paid 220. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's crazy. It's crazy. But I believe like the low, yeah, you like for the low 11s, you can use your discount. That's crazy, right? But yeah, like I was saying, for the low 11s, you can use your discount. That's like crazy to me because they both 11s. But the thing is that kind of gets it is the high top 11s, what the regular 11s, which whatever you want to call them, the regular 11s, they is very hyped up. So Full Locker is going to make their money. Off of everybody, even employees. But the low elevens, don't many people like those shoes. So it's like it can, it's like a win win lose situation. Cause like not I, I say you can use a discount on ones, twos, threes, fours, five, six, all the retros except for the elevens. It's like that's that's wild. Like it's it's crazy because the low elevens, I mean the hot the regular living, like that's the shoes that everybody want, everybody itching for. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, and then let's say, oh yeah, I want to say this too. You can use your discount on like Black Friday deals too. Because at Champs, literally, you know, they have a Black Friday sale. And that's when we red tag everything. Everything on the wall from Jordan, Nike, Puma, Reeboks, New Balance. Everything that we got, shoe, everything that we got that's shoes, that's red tag. And that's when you get the most and make that bank for that discount, boy. You tell me I'm going out there, I'm coming out that store with about six pairs of shoes. This is how I went. Like for sure. Like that discount, bro. That discount worked it. So if you're trying to go there for that discount, I say the discount is, is worth it. Most definitely. Get that discount. Cause you ain't gonna that you ain't gonna get that shit. In, excuse me, I can't cuss. But you ain't gonna get that nowhere else. Where like you get some high quality retros for a nice discounted price, Psh, can't beat that. Except you work for the Nike factory. That's that's another topic for another day. So also going towards like the people like like top. I believe we're on topic number four, three, three or four, one or two. My bad, you guys. But on to the next topic is basically the people. I'm be honest with you. The people will get on your nerves. They will test you. Like, let me, I'm about to get close. I'm going to get personal with y'all. The people will drive you crazy. They will frustrate you. They will make you question life. They will make you so furious. Like, people will be people. And especially the kid sizes. Oh, my goodness. Man, it's like, you know, people don't know their sizes for their kids. You know, that's your child. You should know the size of your child's foot. So, you know, me, I'm going to tell you my story. So, I'm working over there in the kids area. I'm helping these people out. I said, okay, what size, you know, y'all want for your kids and everything? And trying to show the shoes and everything, sell them some shoes and stuff like that. And I'm like, oh, yeah, we got these baby Air Force Ones, the Black Black Force activity, you know what I'm saying? The Black Forces for the babies. And I'm like, what size y'all, you guys need, like a 3C, 2C? They're like, oh, we don't know. So, grab us a 3, 4, 5C. I'm like, this baby foot no bigger than my my hand, and like a a three C is about it's about about that size, you know what I'm saying? It's not that it's not really big, but it's my five six C. I'm looking at that baby foot. I'm like, so do you guys want me to measure the child foot? Cause we got these little kid um, si I forgot the name of the things, but they metal racks, not metal racks, but they little metal things you can kind of you know 
check the width of the baby foot. You can check the, the length of everything so you can get the correct size. They didn't want to do that. I like, okay, so I grabbed them six pairs of shoes, six pairs of the different, all different sizes, ranging from 5C and up and down. I like, dude, all these shoes, I'm walking in here like this, struggling, trying to get it out there. <sighs> Turn out they didn't even buy the shoes. They didn't buy nothing. I said, I said, you know what? I'm going to go back there and chill out for a second because that, that's a drove. That drive me. And like you guys, I'm going to be honest with you. Once you go inside Champs, there's, there's no size shoe you wear. That's to help us out. We'll help them out because, man, it's so frustrating when you, the, people don't know their sizes and they're trying about six pairs of shoes. They're like, God dang. Come on, dog. Like, come on, man. Like, y'all like, don't know that. Y'all don't know y'all size. Like, it, it's so driving. Like, just know y'all size. That that's like one of the biggest things that got me and drove me. Cause don't nobody know their size at all. Then you got the people that come in there. They talk to you all day, all day. Yeah, it was cool. You met some cool people and everything. But then they talking all day and everything. Then they trying to figure out which shoe they want. And they, so they talk about three hours. And you send it like. Like, okay, then you try to help somebody else. Then they just come up to you and be like, hey, I want this shoe, bro. Like, all right, I got you. They're like, oh, I don't like the shoe, really, bro. What you think? Like, bro, they, they, they cool. I like them. I'm full with them. Nah, I don't want them. And then so they'll leave. Then they come back. Then they keep on trying to chop up with you. Everything like, you know, you got a job to do. You know, I, I you know, I'm, I'm a people person, but, you know, I got a job I got to do. You know, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to make some bread. And, you know, you kind of hurting me by trying to, you know, you, you kind of socializing with me while well, I could be helping somebody else that need the help the most. You know, it's, it's kind of stuff like that. You're going to get them people that's going to agitate you. You're going to get the people trying to steal. Like, I kid you not, I had some dudes that legit stole some shoe cleaner. They stole some shoe cleaner. I ain't going to, I mean, I, I understand this, but why are you stealing shoe cleaner? Like, dog, I know it's hard out here. Trust me, I know it's hard. But I don't still no shoe cleaning. Like, I'm literally talking to the dudes. You know, I'm trying to help them out. And dude going to grab the thing and try to put his pocket like, hey, I see you trying to steal the shoe cleaner. He said, oh, no, I'm just playing with you, bro. I'm just playing with you. Put it back up. And that's how I said, then as he did it, I said, bro, I see you. And I can't kick him out the store. I can't. I just can't do it. That's, I can't do that at all. So, you know, I walked away and everything. They went on by their business. Turns out they stole some shoe cleaner. Like, legit stole some shoe cleaner. And they were walking inside the store, holding a can, shaking it up. I don't know what they had planned for the shoe cleaner. Probably trying to do something with their shoes. I have no idea. But they stole some shoe cleaner. And the dude that I was working with, he said, hey, you know they stole some shoe cleaner, right? I was like, dang. Can't do nothing about that. I said, ain't that something? I said, that's just wild. That's wild, bro. I said, god dang. But yeah, like I was saying, the people just stole some shoe cleaner. So you just got to watch out for people stealing, people just doing stupid stuff. And while I was working at it, we had lots of fights. We had a whole riot. I, I mean, a whole riot. I was legit walking out. Next thing you know, everybody just started jumping each other. Like, what the world is going on? So I'm just like, I'm on the phone. I'm just speed walking through that mug, got in my car. I dipped off. And like legit, I looked down. But when I was walking out, I looked down to the lower levels. It was a whole bunch of kids fighting on the full court level and on the second level. They was about to start popping off on the third level. I said, mm-mm, I'm gone. Thank God I was clocking out. So, yeah, people plays a big factor into your decision working at Champ Sports because it's retail, man. It's like they just don't know what they want. They might steal something. People might start fighting. Like, you just don't you, – you never know. So – yeah, you gotta be careful, cause it's dangerous out there. So I forgot what step we on. I don't say I forgot what step we was on, basically. So next step is like the next thing that goes on with champs is management. And management, they pretty cool, depending on who you got. You know, like I was working in an area where we was high volume, we had a lot of customers come in that wanted to buy the product, buy the shoes and everything. So we like wanted to hire up reps, you know. We was like we was up there, up there. Like, we had corporate coming out here talking to us, seeing how we do and everything. It's kind of a good thing because we got to remodel with our whole store. So, you know, you will have, like, corporate people come in and talk to you and everything. 
Then I remember I was like, you know, I wanted to top sell reps. I was one of the best people up there. You know, I was doing my job very well. And the corporate person came up there and saw that. And she basically gave me a whole discounted card. Like, I think it was like $57 on the card or something like that. So I paid like $100 for some J's. That was a brand 13, as a matter of fact. So, yeah, you know, management, everything, they play the factor to, like, who they are as a person, as an individual. And, of course, they're going to do their job as management. But, you know, the one I worked at, it was pretty cool, laid back. You know what I'm saying? We play our music on the radio, chilled. It was like a chill atmosphere. It like, really, really chill. But then, you know, management, you know, they turn to the managers and everything. They want to make sales. They want to hit numbers. So it was kind of like, you know, a lose-win situation. You know, that was cool at the same time, but then at the same time, it really wasn't. So that's kind of how it kind of goes with that. So then another thing also, lastly, is, you know, working at Chimps, you're going to be standing up a long time. So, you know, you just got to be standing up and all that stuff. And that's really not a big factor. Wear some comfortable shoes. That's the truth. Like, just wear some real comfortable shoes. And you'll be all right. For sure, like we're some um, only thinking about wearing Roshi's anymore, or like some comfortable J's or something, cause like you will get like a oh yeah the uniform you gonna get a uniform you are gonna wear that blue champs shirt with the little gray pants you get the shorts or the pants then you can wear any shoes you want but they got the catch is the shoes gotta be from champs or Foot Locker they got to it can't be from nowhere else it can only be there cause I remember I wear my Jordan Twenty Ones. I think it's yeah, my turn one playoffs. And they're like, where you get them shoes from? I was like, uh, I got it from Nike. They're like, no, you can't wear that here. You just can't. You can't wear it no more up here at all. I said, dang. Then I had some um some um, Adidas Superstar Xenoverses. That's when they changed colors and everything. I said, no, you can't wear it up here. I'm like, God dang, it's just shoes. I like, dang, I'm trying to show my swag off, but y'all hate on the swag. Like, what's up with that? So yeah, you yeah, gotta wear wear their shoes and all that good stuff, and it's you know, but besides wearing that that uniform, it ain't that bad. You know what I'm saying? You working. That's all it is. Then, trying to think what else, you know. But overall, you know, just to cap off what, what I said about working at Chimps, it's a dope area. Like, the pro is, you know, it's good to work there. You know, it's fun. It's a great environment. You get this kind of shoes, this kind of clothes. Then the con is... You know, you got to deal with crazy people, deal with just people in general because, you know, it's retail. And you're not getting paid that much. And the commission is trash. It's do the butter. So that's kind of like, you know, the pros and cons of all the chance sports stuff. So, you guys, I appreciate you. I can't even talk. But, you guys, I truly appreciate you guys for watching my videos and sticking through me. Stick, sticking through through it all with me. I can't talk at all. But sticking through it all, and I am back on YouTube. I will do my best to upload consistently. I don't know my upload schedule, because my schedule fluctuates with my new career. So, you guys, it's your boy, Kenny Key, and I'm signing off. Thank you, y'all, so much. Peace.